Greetings, Captains. Welcome back to the Hong Kai Operations Center. As time flows forward, Fuhua has shaped the history under different names and identities. The A. Thersher who calls herself Fuhua has now appeared before us. But who is she really? What has Fuhua undergone in 50,000 years? Let's take a closer look at the long and solitary life of a warrior. Fuhua was born in the lower district of a previous era metropolis. She grew up practicing martial arts after her father and lived a disciplined life. Due to her humble origin, plain appearance, and straight, reserved personality, Fuhua was a loner when she studied in Sapphire. Only until she saved a classmate during a zombie attack did she gain the acceptance of those around her and learn to warm up to people. But just when she was beginning to envision a bright future, fate forced her on a path that she had never imagined. The Honkai Impact tore what she knew apart. The city was burned to the ground and her family and friends were killed. Fuhua fled and was saved by Moss Squad 5 leader Himiko. In a world where one could not survive alone, Fuhua could no longer afford to dream and was only left with the mission to eliminate Honkai. Fuhua joined Moth as a soldier, but she was still too weak to save anything. Cities fell. Billions of lives perished. Her savior, Himiko, died in the hands of her comrades after transforming into a Hersher. She only had the passion to defeat Honkai, not the power to realize it. In the face of an overwhelming enemy, was running away the best thing she could do? Fuhua did not accept her fate. Burning with a grudge against her fate, Fuhua was reborn after challenging death. In an experiment that was deemed lethal, Ikor miraculously fused with her and transformed her into a mantis. And the user of Key of Domination, as well as Fan Huang Dao, the mantis brought home one victory after another, until the final Hersher descended. Humanity stood no chance in the decisive war. The few that survived forfeited their civilization. They put themselves into cryogenic sleep so they could start anew when the time arrives. And so Fuhua's story enters the next chapter. After 10 millennia of sleep, Fuhua was awakened as the executor of Project Ember, whose mission was to guide the people of the new era in developing their civilization and resisting Honkai. Fuhua was not alone in this. She was surrounded by lifelong friends who genuinely cared for her and wanted her to take back her life. Yet she lost all of them in a judgment class Honkai disaster. Fuhua became alone again. As a mantis, she is immortal. As the user of Feng Huang Down, her memories last forever. In Fuhua's near everlasting life, as fleeting as her interpersonal encounters may be, the inevitable parting that ensued would still scar her for life. With her last friend gone, Fuhua closed off her heart. She secluded herself from the earthly world, carried on the mission of eliminating Honkai like the programmed robot. No mercy for the corrupt that became her sole code of conduct. She only cared for the mortal's corruption, not their lives. In 1458 AD, Fuhua founded the school of Taishuan at Mount Taishuan Shenzhou. It was to safeguard Shenzhou and cleanse the world of Honkai. The school of Taishuan, which only had seven disciples, dominated the martial arts world with the Edge of Taishuan, a secret sword fighting style that could channel Honkai energy. To the ordinary people, Fuhua was as untouchable as a celestial, and hence was named Phoenix. In 1475 AD, on the Kipchak steppes in Central Asia, Fuhua single-handedly trounced Chicksaw's elite forces and their strongest Valkyrie, Kalan Kaslana. This battle also led Fuhua's first encounter with Otto Apocalypse, her lifelong rival. In the next year, for reasons unknown, her seven disciples mutinied and razed Mount Taishuan to the ground. Fuhua was grievously injured, having lost her full power and immortality. Fuhua temporarily withdrew from the world. Since she could not protect Shenzhou in a powerless state, she made a pact with Otto. Fuhua joined Shiksal and worked for Otto. In return, Otto pledged to watch over Shenzhou in her stead. In 2000 AD, the second Honkai eruption brought total destruction. It was later known as the most devastating Honkai disaster of the current era. In a few days, multiple major cities were destroyed, resulting in millions of casualties. In this war, Shiksal and the anti-entropy fought back in full force. Fuhua was dispatched to subdue the Hershers as a Shiksal Valkyrie. In Fuhua's long life, 
She has never ceased rethinking what fighting means, so she may one day slay all Hershers and eliminate Honkai. By then, she had found the way of defeating a Hersher. With unparalleled combat experience and Feng Huang Down's power, Fu Hua overwhelmed the pseudo Hersher of Fire and temporarily suppressed the second Hersher who possessed six Hersher cores. Yet, even with such nigh immeasurable power, she could not defeat the second Hersher, who was under the protection of the will of Honkai. At the critical moment, Fu Hua sacrificed Feng Huang Down and her memories to activate Feng Huang Down's first power, Taishuan Eminence. It severely wounded the second Hersher and cut off her connection with the will of Honkai, creating an opening for humanity to turn the tables. Fighting this war cost Fu Hua her memories and most of her power. Over a decade later, Fu Hua enrolled at St. Freya as an undercover agent. She became the class monitor of Kiana's class to surveil the activity of the Hersher of the Void inside Kiana. Although she approached Kiana and her friends with an ulterior motive, she regained long-lost friendships and bonds in a campus life full of joy and laughters. She carried out Otto's orders while secretly helping out Kiana and her friends to protect an addictive yet fragile balance of fate. However, the mission of eliminating Honkai ultimately made her side with the other end. She took away Kiana and helped Otto rouse the Hersher of the Void. Little did she know that Otto did not play by the contract. He only roused the Hersher for his selfish desires, not to protect others. To keep Fu Hua out of his plan, he shot her. To stop Otto's plan, Fu Hua activated Feng Huan Down's zeroth power before dying, to transfer her sentience partially into the feathers and bind her sentience with Kiana's soul. Feng Huan Down, which bore Fu Hua's sentience, led Himiko to the power that could confront the Hersher of the Void and provide the serum that could quell the Honkai energy inside Kiana. When Bronya was trapped in Grey's Serpent's Mind Labyrinth, Feng Huan Down appeared in time to help her escape. After the Hersher of the Void begot a Honkai eruption, Kiana sunk into self-blame and loss. It was Fu Hua's sentience that supported her and taught her how to harness the Hersher power. At last, to protect Kiana, Fu Hua's sentience burned herself out in the battle against Kevin and fell into a slumber. However, that was not the end of her story. After the Shiksal battle, Otto repaired her body, only to revive a Fu Hua that was not the fighter who upheld her mission above all else and abolished her own desires. She had the looks of Fu Hua, but under frivolous, arrogant, and impetuous words. She had the memories of Fu Hua, but could not understand the motives underpinning them. She loathed Honkai as much as Fu Hua, but she was no different from Honkai in action. Purely driven by a desire for destruction, she destroyed. She killed Otto's clone and demolished half of Shiksal's headquarters. To vent her desire for destruction, she fought Durandal and Kevin to trick Fu Hua's sentience in Fun Huan Down into submitting to her. She varnished over her motive time and again. To win the trust of Kiana and Bronya, she lured them into her memories to elicit their sympathy. In the end, she was not Fu Hua, but the eighth Hersher born from her memories. Perhaps to the eighth Hersher, this story that perpetuated itself for 50,000 years is an elaborated, pitiable tragedy. The Fu Hua that constrained herself and lived solely for her mission was nothing but a failure. She wanted to become a better Fu Hua. Perhaps the girl bathing in the sun on the grass 50,000 years ago would have had the same idea had she had learned the story of her life. It is a life that has seen too many betrayals, lies, and sacrifices. However, it is also a life that shaped Fu Hua into the remarkable fighter that her friends believe in and rely upon. What does the future have in store for her? We will find out together.